we're having a Grand Marian procession and celebrating the city's birthday, originally founded in 1781. This is a perfect day for such a beautiful occasion. The weather is mercifully clement. There's a little breeze, the sun is shining. Our Lady gave us a beautiful day for her feast day. There'll, there'll be several hundred in the procession, but there are a lot of people in the church here who will come with us to the other church. It's appropriate that we start La Pueblo, or El Pueblo, uh, where everything started in 1781. And then we're going to be processing up the hill to the cathedral, where we'll have people waiting for us to greet us and to have mass and a rosary there. So. We were there Knights of Columbus. We're in the, the procession to the uh, from the plaza here into the uh, cathedral, and then we'll at the, after the uh, procession into the cathedral or into the cathedral, we will uh, process into the cathedral. The Queen of Angels Foundation was a group of Knights of Malta's and Doms of Malta that came together in order to resurrect the processional that would have been held in the past in Los Angeles to celebrate the birthday of the city, which is now 230 years old, and the Blessed Mother, who it was named after. And the founder was Mark Anker Elbert, who is an attorney and a Knight of Malta, and who envisioned this, according to his wife, many years ago. And I and several others had had the idea that it was very important that this sort of thing happen, and Mark and I and Ron Katsky and Nancy Ardale and a group of others got together and formed this board. And what we're doing is reviving an old custom that goes back to the very first days of the founding of LA. When the city was officially founded on the 4th of September, 1781, uh, they had a mass and procession in honor of Our Lady of the Angels, who was the namesake and patroness of the city. For about a hundred years this was done under the Spanish, the Mexicans, the Americans, and then sometime in the 1880s they stopped doing it. It's a long time later and LA has really grown up in a big, big, big way. And so today we revive the custom, we celebrate Los Angeles' past, more importantly her future. And what we're trying to do is you see the wide range of cultures and peoples here today. It reflects both the church, the city, and the county of Los Angeles. And above all, invokes the protection of the city's patroness in this time that's so filled with challenges for the city, the state, and of course the country. The Catholic community always needs Mary's prayers and protection. And more than that, this Catholic community needs to transcend our ethnic rivalries and our cultural triumphalism and really move. We're all Angelinos today. We're all the sons and daughters of Mary, our Queen. So we're really excited about this procession.
guys. Thank you very much for coming, everyone. My name is Monsignor Kevin Kastelnik. With no raise, Monsignor Kevin Kastelnik. Yo soy un padre con este catedral. It's a joy to have you here, and this is our very first procession. How many of you processed from La Placita to La Catedral? Woo! Wonderful, thank you. One person comes up with an idea, and the idea grows. This man did it. Give Mark a big hand right here. Mark Albert and his team are angels in the city of angels. It is fitting that our celebration continues here at the Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels, which is named in honor of the patroness of our great, great city of Los Angeles. In addition to sharing the name of our Blessed Mother, our cathedral and our city are linked in other ways as well. Yesterday marked the ninth anniversary of our cathedral's dedication. And tomorrow, as we just heard, we will serve the 230th anniversary of the founding of Los Angeles by a small group of families who walked nine miles from Mission San Gabriel to what is now La Placita. So in many ways, uh, the uh, people of Los Angeles are together uh, with our uh, foundation of our, the foundation of our Catholic faith. Estamos todos unidos de manera especial en Los Angeles con uh, estos momentos tan importantes precisamente porque la ciudad fue fundada en honor a Nuestra Señora de Los Ángeles. I would like to thank the Queen of Angels Foundation for arranging this day and for inviting so many organizations to participate. And special thanks to all of you who are present this afternoon. May Our Lady of the Angels continue to guide you, leading you ever closer to her Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Les doy las gracias a todos por haber participado y por venir esta tarde a, a la, esta celebración tan importante. Que la Santísima Virgen, nuestra Madre Reina de Los Ángeles, nos siga acompañando y ayudando a acercarnos más a nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Que Dios los bendiga a todos.